I keep telling you guys to keep people in your life who tell you what you need to hear and not what you wanna hear, so that's what we're gonna do today when we're talking about Kavos' review of the Shane Dawson series when he's talking about Jake Paul and Logan Paul, so stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health, and what I like to do is pull things from the YouTube community to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So before I get started, a, a huge shout out to one of my very loyal subscribers, Jiffy. Uh, they actually recommended this to me on Twitter, asked me my thoughts, and I'm like, okay, I know who Kavos is, I guess I'll check this out. So thank you so much, Jiffy. Um, but anyways, I, I debated on making this video, I talked with my girlfriend, she advised me against it, but she's like, you're probably gonna do it anyways. I'm like, you're probably right. Then I talked to my wonderful editor, Zach, and he's like, no, I think that's some good stuff to talk about. And I'm like, all right, Zach. But the reason why I debated on it is because with what I try to do with this channel, there's a fine line that I try not to cross where it goes, you know, into the drama section rather than the mental health section. But like, I think it's important. I think it's important that we talk about this stuff because like one of the ways that I stay protected mentally and emotionally is by judging people's character. Like, we talk about how like judging people is bad, but it's actually something that our ancestors had to do for survival, so it's embedded in our brain. We have to know how to read people, right? So I think it's important to discuss this and use this example from the YouTube community so you can kind of look at who you're watching because you might have other people in your life who are contradicting themselves or they're not really showing their true intentions and things like that, so I want to kind of give you examples of this like when I watch things and I'm kind of looking at people I'm like okay are they or aren't they you know a good person or is this somebody I would keep close to me and all of that because I keep telling all of you guys that you need to have better friends you need to have better people in your life and if for some reason Kavos you watch this I'm like this is no hate at Kavos like I kind of look at this in the same realm that I look at you know what Shane sees with Jake Paul is that I don't even know if Kavos knows he's doing it, all right? And maybe this will bring some light to him, but I really want to help all of you learn how to read people so you can protect yourself mentally and emotionally. Because something that's really important when it comes to our relationships, who you're gonna date, who you're gonna hang out with, which family members you're gonna keep close in your life, we need to follow people, not by what they say, but what they actually do. And a lot of this looks at what they say. Like, I talk a lot but I also listen a lot. So I listen for different contradictions and things like that to see who people really are. And for those of you in the United States, I think that's important too with the midterm elections coming up. Like there's a lot of politicians who say one thing and do the other. So we're constantly having to look at these things and seeing if people's words line up with their actions, all right? So let's get started in this video. So the first thing I wanna bring up, the first thing I wanna bring up, and it's just, I was gonna make a separate video, didn't know if I should, but I'm just gonna lump it into this video. First thing I'm gonna bring, it, bring up is like, you guys, I, I gotta tell you that YouTubers are manipulating you, they're lying to you. Recently, YouTube have really been demonetizing my content, so getting sponsors like this, it's important that we show support to them because they're supporting creators and letting me make whatever I want. And I, I just wanna tell you the truth, like, like okay, Here's the thing, like Kavos, you know, was sponsored in this video, good for him, getting sponsored is amazing, I wanna get sponsored, we all should get sponsored, right? But, like, he uses what a lot of YouTubers do, so this is nothing pointed directly at Kavos, a lot of YouTubers do this, where they say, hey, I keep getting demonetized by YouTube, so I have a sponsor, right? And this is a form of manipulation because they're trying to make you feel bad so you give them something in return. And like, I'm just about honesty. Like, I'm all about honesty, okay? Does YouTube ad money suck? Yes. Does YouTube demonetization suck? Yes. But does YouTube demonetization mean that you don't get any ad money? No. No, it does not, okay? And I don't know why YouTubers are acting like when they get demonetized, they make no money. Like, I... I went through some of my demonetized videos and I looked at the ad money I made and I made money off of them. Like, that little yellow uh, demonetization symbol does not mean you will not get advertisements. It means that advertisers on their end can say whether or not they want to have an ad on this type of video or this type of channel. So again, like, I just want to inform all of you to, so like, so you can make better informed decisions. Like, Kavos, make your money, baby girl. Like, 
I want all of you to support creators. Like if you don't support me, support somebody else. Like watch their ads, click on their ads, um, buy their merch, you know what I mean? Click on their sponsor links. All of these things help support your creators. Um, support them on Patreon, I don't care. It's just that I want people to be honest about this. And yes, there are some times when you get no ad money on your videos, but from my experience, there's a lot of times where you're still making a little bit of money. It's not as much, but you're still making some. And I just don't like how they make it feel so black and white. Like, you still do make some money off of it. Alyssa also said, and this is the most hilarious part, that Jake would use the Team 10 angle, saying to girls that, you know, come look at the Team 10 house, come see if you'll be a good fit to bang Instagram models. So the first thing I'm gonna point out is like, Kavos is like so surprised, like he's so surprised, he's like, Jake Paul was using his status to like sleep with women. Like, okay, yeah, is that a scummy thing? Yes. And this again, is not a knock at Kavos. Like, here's the reason why I talk to you guys about victim mentality and being taken advantage of and things like that. And even more importantly, to really get your values and priorities straight. Like, this has been happening since the dawn of time. People are using their status for sex. Like, this is not new. Celebrities do it, famous people do it, rich people do it. People buy nice cars, you know, they signal to the world, like, look at me, I'm an important person, so they can get people in bed. Like, this is nothing new. So, what can we do about this? We need to be smarter about this. We need to ask ourselves, why am I hooking up with this person? Why am I getting with this person? Why am I hanging out with this person? Because in a video not too long ago, I talked about self-seeking. Am I only doing something to get something in return? Because if I am, I cannot be angry about the consequences of that, right? So you have two people who's using each other for different things. One's using one to, uh, you know, get uh, yeah, physically fulfilled, if you will, and the other one is trying to get status or money or get taken care of. You know what I mean? Like, if you, and, and hey, if it's a mutual agreement, cool, like there's the whole like sugar daddy thing, or like, you know, like a woman will date a rich guy, like if they're both cool with it, you do you, but, what I'm trying to tell all of you is that you really need to check your values, because if that's not what you want to have happen to you, recognize like, oh, I'm only hooking up with this person because they have money, because of their status, because of their car. I don't think they're a good person. I'm only hooking up with them because of this. Like, this is why you really gotta be very mindful of your intentions and your motives. So in this clip, Kavos like talks about the Logan Paul diss track and he immediately contradicts himself, which I'm going to talk about in a second. And Logan completely completely shut her down, basically got what he wanted out of her, used her, and said he would make that diss track regardless of what she had to say. But like, here's the thing, like he talks about how Logan put the diss track out after Alyssa asked him not to. And Kavos is like telling, saying how Logan Paul's a bad person because of that. Logan Paul is a bad person, but not because of this. Like I mentioned in my last video um, about Alyssa Violet, like, she went through all the steps to do this. There was a lot of money, time, and more people than just Alyssa involved in this project. So yeah, I wouldn't have taken it down either. So like, this is why I, I, I'm not a fan of drama channels. This is what separates me from drama channels because drama channels are one of the reasons I started this channel. We talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. If you look at drama channels or a lot of commentators, all they do is complain about stuff. They have no solution. All they do is just, they, they have a very strong negative bias. I'm eventually gonna do a video about the neuroscience of complaining because it makes you more prone to spot the negative. And then what happens is, this is why I say Kavos might not even be aware he's doing it, all he does is focus on the negative. That's all he sees. So he's pointing out what uh, Logan Paul's doing, but then he immediately contradicts himself by talking about Alyssa. I need to say my problems with Alyssa Violet. If like you said in the Shane Dawson documentary, you are so regretful about sleeping with Logan, then why the f would you hop on a diss track where Logan is literally gloating about having you on his so you see what I mean? Right there, now he's saying, well, Alyssa, you should have never done it in the first place, but just a second ago, you were blaming Logan. Like, these are people who are going to complain no matter what, and that is one of the biggest problems with the drama community, with uh, the commentator community, and one of the reasons why I say we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. So what's the solution for this thing? Make smarter decisions at the very beginning, and then you don't gotta worry about all the other things that happen after. And one of the reasons that this bugs me and this is why you need to read people is because commentators and other people in the YouTube community, they're some of the biggest virtue signalers. So some of you who watched my video about Thomas Halbert and like virtue signaling, YouTubers do this 
all the time, all the time. So, so Kavos like doing this and playing both sides of it, like this is like him doing this kind of signaling. Then let's use Logan Paul as an example. Remember Logan Paul's video about Dear Shane Dawson? Like he makes such a big deal like, oh my God, I can't believe Shane's doing this and putting out there to his young audience like. Dear Shane Dawson. You are scaring the children! Logan Paul is the last person who should be talking about being a good example for their young audience. Another example is that dude Keemstar. Keemstar is he latches onto drama and tries to act like he's such a good, well-intentioned person, right? And he's like, oh my God, this, this better help company is taking advantage of people with mental illness and it really, it really hurts me. I cannot believe they're doing that. Like, I, 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 I'm so upset I can't even put a sentence of thought together. Like, that is like such a huge virtue signal. Like, I'll just tell you this, I won't dive too much into it, but go watch the iDubs uh, video, uh, Content Cop, about Keemstar. He's manipulative, hypocritical, makes horrible content, extremely unfunny, cringy. This is what I'm saying, you guys. Like, you need to be a better judge of character and see if people's actions line up with their words. Like, when's the last time you saw like Keemstar donate a bunch of money to the American Foundation of Suicide Prevention? When did you see him donate a bunch of money to any type of mental health cause? In fact, if I'm being honest, Keemstar got a bunch of backlash for talking crap about Demi Lovato on Twitter after she overdosed. But now all of a sudden, Keemstar really cares about people and mental illness. And oh my God, like, give me a break. Like, I'm just telling you guys, like, I can do, like, mental health is a broad subject. I can do this with anything. You need to be a better judge of character. Who you're watching, who you're hanging out with. We, I brought my son on my channel yesterday, and, like, it's important that we know who our kids are watching. Like, is this a good role model? Is this a good influence? What are they learning from this person, right? Because a lot of these YouTubers and commentators, they're giving very mixed messages, and that scrambles a kid's brain up. So if we don't know how to be a good judge of character, how can we teach our children how to be a good judge of character? So then Kavos mentions that. <laughs> he says, he says Logan Paul is absolutely the one who should be looking, being looked into for being a sociopath. However, Logan Paul, now that is someone who's clearly showing signs of being a sociopath and even admitted to having tendencies. Like, Kavos, did you not learn anything from the Shane Dawson flub, like with Katie Morton? Like, this is the thing. This is the thing. We keep trying to throw out these diagnoses. Like, so the last thing I'm gonna talk about, and I can make an entire video about this, is the kind of back and forth between the Martinez twin situation and Jake Paul. And this is where Kavos kind of empathized a lot with Jake Paul because Kavos says he's been backstabbed before. Like, I just, I can make an entire video about joking around and being offended and things like that. Like, this is something that gave me a lot of social anxiety because I always felt like I was upsetting people and making people offended and all of that. Like, because, you know, and a lot of you have done this, right? Where like, we joke about something, but if somebody else jokes about it, then we get offended. Like, we are such a sensitive uh, culture, like, it's crazy. So something I learned a long time ago, just as a rule of thumb, is like, do not joke about the other person unless you are a thousand percent sure. A thousand percent sure. Because people are fickle like that, right? Like. We gotta just be mindful of that and not everybody is going to take jokes as well as they give them. But again, this is why you need to be a judge of character. I do not hang out with people that dish out jokes but can't take them. Like, I'm a trash talker. Like, me and my girlfriend, I love it. We talk trash to each other and we laugh and we have fun. But like, if she talked trash to me and when I returned it, if she got all upset about it, like, our relationship never would have worked out. So this is another way to be a judge of character. Do not hang around sensitive people if they're gonna dish it out but not take it. So again, 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 this is no hate at Kavos. I don't know how aware he is of what he may or may not be doing it, but the bigger lesson here is that all of you watching this, you need to be a better judge of character of the people in your life, who you're watching on YouTube, who you hang out with, who your friends are, you know, who your coworkers are and all of that. See if their actions line up with their words, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for you with this video. Let me know what you th think down in the comments below. Let's do this. What 
Do you think that you're a good judge of character or does it feel like people are constantly pulling a fast one on you or taking advantage of you? All right, let's talk about that in the comments, all right? But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because tomorrow we are doing our first charity live stream for the editor, Zach. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody who is supporting the channel over on Patreon. This is a great way to support creators and I'm being honest about how that supports me. <laughs> so if you would like to support the channel, you can click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. Be a better judge of character and I will see you next time.